Having just reviewed the new GT3 RS and GT4 RS, testing any Porsche directly after leaves huge shoes to be filled. But after spending the week with the new 992 Carrera T, I have been absolutely blown away. It's quick, it's nimble, and has one of the best transmissions of any cars ever. Honestly, I've fallen in love with the new Carrera T. So what exactly is the 911T? Well, the T stands for touring and harks back to the original 1968 Carrera T. But what it really represents is a lighter, more performance and enthusiast focused version of the 911, blending all the best elements of every 911 model without having to spend GT3 money. At the rear of the Carrera T sits a three liter twin turbocharged flat six, making 379 horsepower and 331 pound feet of torque. Because the Carrera T comes standard with a sports exhaust, this might just be the best sounding turbo six cylinder from the factory I've ever heard. And I love this little Easter egg here. We've got nine vertical vanes on this side, nine on the other side, and two for the brake lights for the 992 generation. The T comes standard with a seven speed manual transmission, and it is absolutely brilliant. From the shift throws to the clutch pedal activation, it feels amazing. It's as good as it gets with a manual. The result is zero to 60 in four seconds, a quarter mile in 12.2. But honestly, those numbers can't even begin to tell the story of how big of a smile on your face you're going to have and how amazing the driving experience is with this motor transmission combo. The T weighs 100 pounds less than the normal Carrera. That's thanks to removing the rear seats for weight savings. We've got thinner glass. We even have a smaller battery and less insulation. Effectively, everything you would do to your Porsche if you were an enthusiast and wanted to strip some weight. And of course, less insulation means a more glorious soundtrack when you're on the gas in your 911T. In the name of performance, we also have a mechanical limited slip rear differential. We've got Porsche active suspension management with sport tuned dampers, as well as optional rear wheel steering, which has been fitted on this 911. The 992 generation 911 is gorgeous and finished in Python green, this Carrera T looks great from every angle. Because it's a T, we've got agate gray accents throughout the vehicle. We've also got 20 inch wheels off the Carrera S in the front, 21s in the rear with wider 305 section tires. It also starts at a base price of $124,900, which slots it directly in between the Carrera and the Carrera S. On the inside, we've got these standard four-way adjustable seats. Of course, we have the shortened shift throws from the 911 GTS. This transmission is amazing. For free, you can add in a PDK transmission but please don't do that. Now, it doesn't have rear seats, but for free, again, you can add in the rear seats, but that lightweight nature of the Carrera T, I feel like it's better just to use this as extra storage space. You also have the GT steering wheel as standard with a little controller on the wheel itself here for the drive modes. Let's fire it up. All right, behind the wheel of the Carrera T now, we are in Sport Plus mode. And this thing is an absolute dream to drive. As I mentioned, having just reviewed the new GT3 RS and GT4 RS, I wasn't sure what driving a more entry-level 911 would be like right after driving the best of the best. And I'm absolutely blown away by how good this car is. The level of involvement, the level of confidence you get, and just how fast it is is truly staggering. We've got 379 horsepower and 331 pound-feet of torque. But because it only weighs 3,250 pounds, and because Porsche likes to underrate things, it feels like it has 450 or 500 horsepower from any other manufacturer. It really does punch you in the back and accelerate out of corners impressively quick. And that rear axle steering, that mechanical limited slip differential, the handling is amazing in this car. It, it's truly staggering what they've done with a quote unquote entry level 911. The shift throws are incredible. As I mentioned, this is one of the best gearboxes ever to be fitted in any car. It just feels perfect. Those shorter shift throws from the GTS transmission are absolutely brilliant. Now in Sport or Sport Plus mode, we have auto active rev matching, but you can actually turn it off in the display. When you shift it into normal mode, it doesn't have that active rev matching, but I like the fact that you can put it in the full-fledged mode and 
drive it yourself if you want to or have that little bit of assist. I will say, when you have the auto blip on, the sounds this makes with perfect rev matches is absolutely insane. Now, speaking of the sound, it's not a naturally aspirated 9,000 RPM flat six like a GT3 RS, but despite having twin turbos, it sounds incredible. And with that standard sports exhaust and the reduced insulation, I mean, listen to this. The way it penetrates the cabin and it kind of has this harmonic resonance to it throughout the cabin, it is just unbelievable. And as I mentioned, I think it might be the best sounding turbo six cylinder of any car straight from the factory. It's just absolutely <laughs> incredible. I love this thing. Now let's go ahead and put it into normal mode for a second. It's also really easy to drive around town at low speeds. This could be a daily driver. Now, despite the fact that we don't have rear seats, but of course you can option them in. It's got a really big front trunk and without those rear seats, you've got tons of storage space back there as well. And in normal mode, it's nice and easy to drive the transmission super easy. You could drive this in bumper to bumper traffic. It wouldn't be a big deal at all, even in horrible LA traffic. All right, back into Sport Plus. We've got a tight little twisty section here. It's so light on its feet and that rear axle steering really brings it around the corner. You have so much confidence. The level of grip is unbelievably impressive. And because you've got those twin turbos, you've got that instant torque at low RPM that you don't get in a high revving, naturally aspirated six cylinder. So you don't have to be right at the red line or in the upper RPM ranges of the red line to get that power and get that acceleration forwards. It's a more manageable road car. Now the suspension in Sport Plus mode is firm. The Carrera T does have those sport tune dampers. But in normal mode, you can easily drive this thing every day. It doesn't beat you up in any way, shape, or form. But man, this is kind of, oh, it's the perfect sports car. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's addicting to drive. I really don't want to give this thing back. I've had so much fun in the 911T. It has my head spinning. Where do I go to order one of these things? The seats are super comfortable. You can option the full racing buckets, although I think in the 911T that doesn't make all the sense in the world. If you get a GT3 or a GT3 RS, it's kind of obligatory that you get those carbon bucket seats. But in this, these seats are perfect. They're manually adjustable for forward and backwards, but they do have uh, automatic recline controls. You can get an 18-way adjustable automatic seat, but these are plenty good. They come standard with the car. They're heated, which is awesome and give you all the support and comfort you could need in the 911T. That sound, the steering feel, the communication, it's just such a beautiful car to drive. And it's a beautiful car to look at. I really love the way the 992 generation 911 looks. Just classy. Porsche has done so well with this car. I'm blown away. Two thumbs up. If I had a third arm, I'd give it three thumbs up. That soundtrack is just so addicting. Those down shifts. Oh, just rowing through the gears. I could just do that all day long. Even if it didn't look like a Porsche, you just had this gearbox sitting in your room. I could just literally do that all day. And I think I'd be, uh, I think I'd be a happy, happy individual. But then it looks like a gorgeous car. It's really, really fast. It handles well. This overall package is truly brilliant. I'm gonna put it back into normal mode for some more casual driving. You have to remember that if you do have the active rev match downshifting on when you shift it back into normal mode, it turns that off. So make sure to do normal rev match downshifts. We've got the Sport Chrono package, standard from the factory with a little app inside the screen so you can actually time your lap times. And this is a car that you could drive every single day 
then drive out in the canyons on the weekend, and then drive to Laguna Seca and drive it on the track and have fun in every single different environment. That's what I think is so special about this car is it's not so harsh that you can't drive it regularly, but it still has incredible performance capabilities. So you could drive this on the track and have an absolute blast as well. Now, despite having that reduced insulation, the thinner glass, it still feels isolated from the outside world. You don't have a bunch of tire noise. You don't have a bunch of wind noise. But what it does a fantastic job of is allowing you to hear the transmission engage and allowing you to hear that glorious flat six when you start to get on the gas and you open it up and put it into sport plus mode. But it has enough insulation so that when you're in normal mode, you don't get a ridiculous amount of sound and it's not annoying whatsoever. You could drive this long distances on the freeway, no problem at all. As a sports car, it is so damn good. You really don't need more power and performance than this. I know a lot of people in modern times, especially with social media and the internet, seeing GT3 RSs, it seems so commonplace on the internet that you just assume that you need something like that to have an exciting Porsche. But man, is that, it couldn't be further from the truth. This Carrera T is unbelievably exciting, and I guarantee, even if you're an owner of a new GT3 RS or GT4 RS, you'd be blown away by the performance of this car. And if you haven't driven one of those, this is gonna just absolutely warp your perception of what you thought was possible with a quote-unquote entry-level Porsche. <laughs> it's absolutely ridiculous. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like always, please browse the channel and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you next.